rather than use the term white supremacy, use the term white aggression. Okay, put that on the board. Erase the term white supremacy, put white aggression on the board. Does that change the circumstances? I have found that it doesn't. You can switch words around and play with words all you want to. I say that to people based on logic. But if the situation is the same, what does supreme mean? Why are you afraid of it? Anything can be supreme, you know. I mean, if you let it, and we let the system of white supremacy exist, simply because we think we can wish it away. We don't make any effort to replace it with a better system, and that better system would be the system of justice, logically speaking. They say, yeah, but, you know, you're giving, you're giving uh, you know, those white aggressors, they ain't nothing. I mean, you're giving them too much credit. I'm not giving them anything other than what the rest of us are giving. I mean, you know, I'm giving them what I'm giving them, and that is what they demand that they want. Now, if that ain't supreme, I don't know what is. I do what they tell me to do. That's supreme, folks. I don't tell them what to do. They tell me what to do. I'm a prisoner of war. I was born in a prison. Every non-white person who is existing now, truth be told, is a prisoner of the system of white supremacy. That's why we are protesting how we are being treated. They are not protesting how they are being treated by us. That's supreme. That's what supreme means. It doesn't mean you are good. See, people get the two words mixed up. Words are very important. If you say white aggression, yes, it's white aggression. That's how they got to be supreme. They were very aggressive in becoming supreme. They say we're going to take over the non-white people of this world, black, brown, red, and yellow, and having them begging us about whether or not they'll be able to eat tomorrow or today or sleep tonight because we can kill them anytime we want to, all of them. And they can't kill us anytime they want to kill us because a lot of them might want to kill us right now, but they don't have the know-how and they ain't got the muscle. All right, just like, you know, in the Corleones, if you want to use the Godfather movie as an example. Hey, who has the muscle? Who has the muscle? Well, if we had it, then they wouldn't be treating us like this. This is the kind of thinking that gets black people in trouble when they jump out of a car when they're being pulled over and an armed person walks up to them and that person has a white face who may or may not be a racist and all of a sudden, woof, 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 woof. Black people have, you know, a lot of us have these big heavy voices a lot of us been lifting weights and all like that, and we got a lot of muscle in our bodies, but whole, not a whole lot of muscle, the record has shown, in our brains, all right? We are not known to be the most brainiest people in the world. Truth be told, and the white supremacists know that because they have seen to it that we haven't learned very much in the little time that we have been, been under their tutelage because they block us from learning. But we walk around trying to make ourselves, ourselves believe that we know everything, and that does not pay off very well, particularly when we start trying to express it in the form of counter-aggression against the aggressor. Like I said, many of us, and I've seen it, and some of us have experienced it, jumping out of the car, woof, 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 woof. You ain't going to put them cuffs on me. I mean, you know, I got my rights. I know what my rights are. I'm tired of this. You know, woof, 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 woof. Okay, all right, woof, woof, woof. And what is the record shown that most of us who do that wind up out of this world within the next two or three seconds, and everybody that's supposed to be our homies, our kinfolks, our friends, 
people who are fighting for our rights and all like that out there with signs and balloons and candles and teddy bears for the 10 millionth time saying, woe is me, this has got to stop, we can't have no more of this. But it all started with that being unrealistic, with woof, 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 woof. I know my rights. You can't do this to me. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey, boy, I, I, can't, I can't do this to you when I have been doing it to everybody that looks like you and my four parents before me been doing it to everybody that looks like you like forever in recorded history. And you bang, 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 bang. Okay, now what do you say about what I can't do to you, boy? Huh? Can you speak? Hey, you're lying here on this highway. Speak up, boy. Hey, can't you tell me all about how you did, who you, who you could whip in the cell block? All right, where well, you spent most of your time before you got in my face? Tell me all about it, boy, with them 15 bullets I just put in you. Tell me all about how you built the pyramids. And then while your buddy's waiting down the highway for me to go down there and do the same thing to him, you people never wake up and smell the coffee. Smell white supremacy. How about that smell? <laughs>